Today in the grain market, soybeans were lower. That profit taking to end the week really pressed the market into double digits down. But demand still remains relatively solid, you know, regardless of the fact that we're still in in the harvest area, but we're really like almost coming to the end of harvest. We did have those double digit losses. The U.S. dollar index was also up, and that is also adding pressure to the market as well. Now, uh, corn was steady today, maybe even just a slight bit lower, but premium still remain firm. We're at the highest that we've been since January, and we know that a correction is inevitable at some point in time. I don't know for sure that this is going to be the big signal that it's going to be coming next week, but we did have a slowdown uh, today. And uh, there's a couple of things to look at with the COVID spike uh, across the uh, the northern part of the country, there is some concern that driving is going to slow uh, yet again, and that is going to really stop the demand for ethanol. So that could put a little more pressure on the corn market. However, domestically, we still have demand that's kind of strong right now, and uh, that's what's keeping uh, the market, you know, the underpinning of the support in the market right now. The big story today, though, was wheat. It did make another new high. There's no rain in the southern plains, as well as the Matif contract in Europe uh, did make a new high. And even there's some issues in Russia and the Black Sea region is very, very dry. Argentina is having some trouble as well. Uh, because of that, the market really was very strong today. And now uh, traders are starting to look for possibly getting to the 650 area, maybe even 675. I mean, who knew that we could get up this high? But but once we broke through that $6 resistance level, uh, all bets are off with uh, wheat above $6, corn $4. And even though soybeans had a pullback, uh, of course, that, that next target will be $11 a bushel. Uh, it would be interesting times here in this uh, fall term of 2020.